This is the Genomic GigaHoop as it appears in Digitizer Pro version 3. It goes with some of the machines, not all of the machines. Now up here I have got a machine filter. If I go to the 11,000, there's no GigaHoop. There's a macro hoop, which is a slightly different animal, but no GigaHoop. If I go to the version 10,000, I've still got the Giga Hoop. We'll just double check. Yes. If I go to 97,000, I've still got the Giga Hoop. So it's supported in the 9700, 9500, or the M300E. If I go to the 350, still got the Giga. If I go to the 200, no Giga. And that's because it doesn't have a long enough reach on the embroidery arm. And if I go to the MB4, no giga. But you've got a nice selection of hoops anyway, if you own the MB4. All these extras on the bottom are my own. I own two industrial machines. OK, so how does the giga hoop work? It's a painful hoop. And so many people labour along the un under the illusion, as I did, initially, that it enlarged your sewing field. It doesn't. It can't. Your sewing field is dictated by the reach of your embroidery hoop support arm. It can only go backwards so far. It can only go sideways so far. It can only come forwards so far. You cannot physically extend it. You cannot send a design to the machine that fills this whole space. It can't stitch it. What it does is it combines two B-hoop designs. So I'm going to import a couple of B-hoop designs. OK. Go to Edit, Group. That allows me to move that into position without all the separate parts coming apart. Now I'm going to insert another design and tell him group because I want to be able to move him without him coming apart. Now, you can see I can't quite get them both in, which is a bit of a pain in the neck because I'd rather they were both clear and free. Now I'm going to have a quick look at the print preview. It takes time because the program has to work it out. File, Save As, Jeff, and I'm going to close this, open, design 4-1, open, sat in a B-hoop, because it's a B-hoop size design, insert, ah, before I do that, Select all, group. I don't want to lose any parts. Insert, 4-2. And I'm going to tell that group. And you can see it's coming upside down. I'm going to drop that so as you can see clearly. It's two separate designs. One has been flipped. And the reason it does that is because whatever goes in this side stitches first. You unclip the hoop from your machine. You take the gizmo that attaches it to the arm off. You then reinsert that gizmo into the clip that's down this end. You flick this around, 
you put the gizmo back onto the arm and you stitch the second design. So you get what you asked for originally, which is two designs side by side in your Giga Hoop. Now in the next video I'll show you the way I prefer to do it.